G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CaptureComputers.com. What I'm going to be doing today is running you through the demo of Resident Evil Revelations on the 3DS. Now, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to run you through it very quickly. Resident Evil Revelations. Alrighty, so pretty much this is the 3DS demo. Uh, it, we only get to play only a certain part of the game, which is called the Ghost Ship. And you only got an option of normal. So it's very it's it's a very it's not too easy but I'm going to try and do it in one run through um, and as quickly as possible. We play as Jill in this section of the demo. So we start off uh, in the guest cabin. So I'm going to try and get through this one as quickly as possible. Alright, so basically now Jill is going to be trying to get out of this room. She's pretty much stuck in the room at the moment and she won't be able to get out until she does a few things. So at the moment um, she's looking through in a bathtub. I'm going to try and drain the bathtub. And there's something in there. Screwdriver. So I'm going to pick that up. Let's pick up the screwdriver. And as you can hear there's a bit of noise going out in the background up there. Alrighty, so now, you're going to see, this is the first bit of action that you're going to see in the game, so you... Now the shooting is a little bit point and click. Now what I've also, what, what I've also noticed is that gameplay with the um, knife is also very cool. Got the finishing moves as well, as you can see there. Uh, with Resident Evil, you've got to try your best to not waste as many bullets as po uh, ammo as possible and as you can see ni the knife is a very good option um, with with um with that, what we'll do is we'll move in and do we'll do this, the mini t mini game as you can see we got the screwdriver there now I'm going to move it to the bottom part this is the bottom part here this is where you're going to use a touch screen so touching the screens actually moves the um, gets gets rid of the screws as you can see right there then you got to play and move these things around so I move that down move that across that unlocks it. Alrighty, so that takes you down to that takes you outside there. Now you can also see that this is like a mini mini map as well, and it's got you can choose your weapons, you can move, uh, you can select different things, go into the menu, as you can see there. Uh, very simple, not too complicated, but let's continue on, otherwise we won't be able to finish the t finish off this uh, the level in 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 a quick amount of time. Uh, now up the top once again, looking at that, we just picked up a herb, got to pick up a shotgun. Now we'll, we'll be able to change our shot, change our weapon with the sw with the with the left cross crosshair. Now we'll continue on. That door's locked, unfortunately. I know it's on the map there, but unfortunately we we can't get through to that section. So let's continue on. Alrighty. As you can see, I can bring out the weapon and also reload. So I'm just reloading right now and prepare for another monster. Once a monster gets you, you got to make sure that you push the got the Y button to kick it away from you. Okay. As you can see on the screen, it gets a little red when she's about to die. As you can see, you can also dodge and get out of the way, as you've noticed. getting smashed completely here. Kick it out of the way. Alright, so that monster is dead. 
Now, what I want to try and uh, you've got to try. I want to try and do it without using too much uh, ammo. But in the end, you really kind of do need to use as much ammo as possible. But let's do. Our, I'm doing our best not to try and use as much as possible. Alrighty. So now there's a bit more. Um, it's another herb here. Pick that one up. And make our way out through here. Another. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my shoddy. We've got someone here going to come down and give me a bit of a give me a bit of a beating. Now run out, just run back a bit. I change to the shotgun. All right, so I'm getting I'm getting killed a bit. So I'm going to try and see if we can get this. Got one guy out of the way. Keep this guy out of the way. Use my Alrighty, so he's gone. Get out of them. Alright, this will take us into a kind of a dining room area. Now the dining room area looks very similar to the mansion level in, in Resident Evil. I'm going to go into here and show you something really cool that we've noticed. This is the scanning gun. The scanning gun is actually really, really cool. It works well. Picks up hidden items, which I'm going to just quickly show you very, very quickly. Uh, to equip it, I go to my hand. Scan. Look. Find. Press Y. Finds an item. Walk over it. Pick it up. Very simple. Scan. Find another item shoot it, pick it up. Very, very simple. Uh, it, it does come in handy. You can also use it to scan monsters, get information from monsters. Very, very simple. As you can see now, if I walk back down here, a monster's going to come out. So if I want to get him, scan him. There's a scan and gives you a score percentage. You can also do a few other things, but I'm going to do it and not waste my time. I'm going to continue on, make my way up and through to the door upstairs. Run away. Okay. Now what I'll do is be smart. Scan. Find some more stuff. Pick up a uh, grenade. Pick up more grenade. Okay. Got the ro got the rocket. Got the the. It. Just got smashed pretty bad there. Just use another herb. Alrighty. I'm sure that I don't die. I'm doing my utmost best not to die here. Alrighty, so he's gone. Get the scanner out again if I have to. A few things on the floor, I believe. You can scan those guys. Get a couple more points. But for now, let's get out of here. Change the weapon to a my, my normal gun. And make our way out. Now, as you can see, scan again. Find something here. Alright, found something again. What is it this time? Found another grenade. Get the weapon out. We're going to change weapons to the, from the grenade. Alrighty. So what we'll do is we will... Um, We'll get out of here as quickly as possible because we don't want this guy chasing us. Alright, we'll make our way out. It's going to take us downstairs. Now, as you can see, that's there's a lot of there's a lot of things you can do and you don't have to do in the game. You can actually not waste bullets, bypass people, scan them. Are you okay? I'm fine, but something's not right here. We need to contact HQ. Okay. 
The bridge is our best bet. Come on. All right. Yeah, we found Parker. Felt like I could still scan stuff if I want. But we won't have to. Very creepy. As you can see, they've done a really good job here, Capcom, in making this more really, really scary. All right, so as you are, we're back on the bridge now. We've done everything we need to do. And uh, as I can just basically show you down the bottom now that you can see, we've got a bit of time on our hands. Um, the weapon system, there is the, the shotgun we had on our hands. We can change it to that. We can also change it from the knife to the grenade. Now with the grenade, pretty much, now that you can see when we point the grenade, now we can actually push the X button. Okay? And that will throw the grenade. The grenade will go off. So that's pretty much how that works there. So you can change and look at, you know, use the grenade. You've got the scanner. You've also got health, which will probably can't, you know, you won't be able to pick up, especially in this demo. You've got the main menu system in here. You can change things. You've got items. You've got ammo. Seems like at the moment what I've discovered is that the most you can pick up is 30 pieces of ammo at one point in time. So unfortunately you can't bulk, bulk collect. Um, because I know I picked up, when I was playing it before, I was trying to pick up a bit of extra ammo and it just wouldn't work. So the maximum you can carry is 30, um, which is a little weird. Then you've also got um, logbook information, regular items like screwdriver which we just picked up. And that one there is empty at the moment. So going back into there, um, we could have killed that monster with a grenade, but we didn't do it in the in the in the time that I wanted to, because I didn't want to die. So as I said, with, with with the scanner once again, you can pick up some more stuff. Don't forget, this is the demo. I would recommend if you do play the game in full, check everything, take your time. There's no time limits in here. So as I said, I picked up another herb. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. It covers the re the end of this demo. So sit back and watch, enjoy. And thank you for watching um, this little quick run through of um, Resident Evil Revelations on the 3DS. Thanks to Capcom. Um, and once again, I'm Master Abbott signing out from CapsuleComputers.com. If you have any questions, leave them on the menu, leave them on the video. Like it if you like us. And that's pretty much it. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the show.